Hey everybody, Ace Trainer Liam here and welcome to another episode of Metromania. For those who aren't aware, Metromania is an ongoing 16 Pokemon double battle metronome only tournament to determine who is the Metromania champion. And this season, it's all about Mega Evolution. If you're already a fan of Metromania, you've watched everything so far and you're ready for more, make sure you hit the like button so that I know you're enjoying this series. And if you are new and this sounds interesting to you, hit subscribe so you never miss an episode. Of course, we are in the final part of the quarterfinals. We're getting ready for the semifinals, but there's just one place left. And before we get into the battle to find out who gets that place, it's time to look at the all important brackets. Let's go. Last week we saw Metagross absolutely disgracefully dominate Absol. Absol was absolutely crushed under the weight of Metagross last week. It showed signs of having some kind of tactic in mind, but just could not stand up to the raw untamed power of Mega Metagross. Absol leaves us in the quarterfinals. Metagross moves on to the semifinals. It doesn't have an opponent just yet, but that's what we're here to find out this week. Metagross just absolutely showing its brute strength completely unstoppable, or is it? We're going to find out today as Mega Metagross finds out its opponent when we see Mega Altaria versus Mega Lucario. So here we go, Mega Altaria versus Mega Lucario for a position in our semi-finals. The last place in the semi-finals will go to one of these two teams of Pokemon. Who's it gonna be? Is it Altaria or is it Lucario? We are about to find out. Altaria must, you feel like Altaria must have some kind of advantage because it's a little bit bulkier. We see Kinesis coming out from uh, Shiny Mega Lucario. That is going to drop the accuracy of that uh, regular Mega Altaria as regular Mega Lucario looks to follow up with Revelation Dance, which I believe for Lucario will be fighting type, which is gonna be resisted by the fairy type Mega Altaria. Here is regular Mega Altaria starting things off for its team with a Shell Smash. Get ready. This is going to be dangerous. Oh my goodness. Down goes the defense. Down goes the special defense. And up goes the attack sharply. The special attack sharply and the speed sharply. So regular Mega Altaria looks to be a very dangerous opponent to the Lucario team now. We see Embargo coming out. So whereas its regular counterpart had a great move, Shiny Mega Altaria uses a completely useless move in this metronome battle format. Here we see the fastest thing on the field now, regular Mega Altaria with all that power behind it going for Power Gem. Luckily for Lucario, that is a resisted move, so it's not going to do a lot of attack. If that would have been a fire type move or a ground type move, that could have been very, very detrimental to Lucario or even a fighting type move. Here's a Mud Slap coming out from the uh, shiny Lucario, and that again is going to drop the accuracy of the other Altaria. Now that's great because both Altaria are at minus one accuracy, which plays into the wheelhouse of these two Lucario. We get a Confuse Ray on. On the higher attack power Altaria, now that's a smart move, because that Altaria is at plus two attack, and being confused, it's basically been swaggered through a combination of its own move and Lucario's move. We see a Dragon Claw with Stab behind it, coming out from uh, Shiny Mega Altaria, not very effective on Lucario, but still damage dealt. Any damage is better than no damage. We see the confusion be ignored by the regular Mega Altaria here. What's it gonna do to this team of Lucario? Goes for Flying Press, but it's avoided. That was very lucky. You have to think that would have completely taken out one of these Lucario from full health, surely. Here's an Energy Ball. It will be resisted from Shiny Lucario onto Shiny Mega Altaria but it was still a little bit of chip damage. They are chipping away at these Altaria as best they can, hoping for something to stick. We see Withdraw coming out from regular Mega Lucario, looking to increase its defense, maybe in the hopes of avoiding some of the damage that the regular Mega Altaria is looking to dish out. As Shiny Altaria goes for another Power Gem, it is avoided by the Lucario team, so they don't have to worry about no Power Gem right now. Here's the confused Mega Altaria, ignoring that confusion once again. What will it do with this opportunity? It goes for Comet Punch, which, you know, they have boosted. Oh my goodness! I was going to say it's not very effective. It's lucky for Shiny Mega Lucario that, I, that only got two hits, because that was incredible power behind an Altaria's physical attack. That's, that's not something you see every day. There we go with that beautiful, I believe that was Psychic, I just missed it on the screen, onto uh, the Shiny Mega Altaria there. We see Water Spout coming out from the uh, the regular Mega Lucario there. Decent damage for a not very effective hit on both these Altaria there. What will Shiny Mega Altaria do in response here? It's going to go for Autotomize because it knows I struggle to say that, that, that move. It's fine. Going to raise its speed sharply and become nimble. So good luck Lucario. Oh, Man, one of the Lucario is looking like it's in a great position with full HP, the other not so much. Here comes Curse though, 
dropping the speed of uh, Shiny Mega Altaria, but raising the attack stat and the defense stat. So a little bit more bulk and a little bit more attack power. The confusion never ended up affecting uh, regular Mega Altaria there, completely bypassed it. Goes for Blizzard, but it is avoided by one of the Lucario, but which one will avoid it? The one that needed it least. And down goes Shiny Mega Lucario. It's just one Lucario trying to play against both these Altaria now. That could be a bad sign, but here's an Endeavor. It doesn't affect Altaria because, of course, Lucario's at full HP. Not the greatest of moves there. A wasted turn. What will Mega Altaria do here? Gonna go for Head Smash. It's gonna be avoided, though. The Lucario team got very lucky in dropping the accuracy. They've avoided some terrible attacks from these Altaria. There's the Defog, though. Gonna lower the evasiveness of Lucario. Gonna try and make it easier to hit uh, after the accuracy drop. That should balance that out for the uh, that particular... For both Altaria, I believe. Here's a Bug Buzz, though. It is gonna be resisted by the Fairy Typing. Almost, almost bringing Shiny Mega Altaria to the edge. Lucario still in a good position right now. Just really needs to capitalize on the position that it's in. Here's Petal Dance, though from the uh, regular Mega Altaria with that plus two special attack. Massive damage, half of Lucario's HP. It can't afford to take another one of those Petal Dancers. And here's Shiny Altaria with a Defog, making sure nothing is gonna miss. That's another evasiveness drop for this Lucario. It needs to take out the regular Mega Altaria on this turn, otherwise it is done for. Goes for Miracle Eye and wastes the turn. You know that Petal Dance is gonna take out Lucario this turn. We've done the math, we can see it in front of us. What going to happen. Here is the Petal Dance. Let's see if it does take out Lucario. And it does. So it is 1-0 to Mega Altaria. Lucario needs to get it together. It needs to find a way to defeat these two Altaria and it needs to do it twice in a row now. That's what needs to happen for Lucario to find its way into the semi-finals to face arguably the toughest opponent it's going to face so far, Mega Metagross. Will it be Lucario that goes on to face Metagross? Will it get that equalization? Or will Mega Altaria go for the clean sweep and go on to face Metagross in the semi-finals? We see the attack and the defense raise and the accuracy from that coil from regular Mega Lucario. Not messing about now. Here is shiny Mega Lucario going for Dark Pulse. It will be resisted but does have a chance to flinch the uh, regular Mega Altaria there. But... It's shiny counterpart, of course, it's not going to flinch because it wasn't hit by the Dark Pulse. Goes for Thunderfang, maybe hoping for some paralysis on that Lucario. Doesn't get it, but does do a decent bit of chip damage. No flinch for the regular Mega Altaria there, who's going to go for Leech Life, which will be resisted by the Steel Typing of Lucario. Not really that effective at all there, but does get a little bit of a HP restore there. Five whole hit points, very, very important. I mean, sometimes we've seen even one hit point can be the difference between life and death in these Pokemon battles. We see Dig coming out from the shiny mega lucario it's going to borrow underground keeping itself safe from any damage from the, the altaria team and coming back next turn to deal damage here's the regular lucario going for spore going to put one of these altaria to sleep the shiny mega is going to go to sleep so it's not going to be able to attack the regular lucario what is regular mega uh, regular mega altaria going to do here what's it going to go for it's going to go for Strength Sap. It's going to reduce the attack stat that was boosted by the Coil. So Lucario is back down to its regular attack stat. But also, it's going to fully restore the HP of that Altaria. Testament to Shinotic for a fantastic signature move there. It's such a great move. It's fantastic. What is going to happen now? The Dig is going to come out from the Shiny Mega Lucario for a great amount of damage to that sleeping Shiny Altaria there. And here comes regular Lucario with the follow-up on its teammate's attack. Going to go for Spider Web. Now, that's an interesting play right there. Onto that uh, regular Mega Altaria. I say interesting play, waste of a turn because it's uh, it's basically block, which you know it's completely pointless. It's basically fairy lock, but on one person, it's it's useless. It's useless is what I'm saying. Here's a Leaf Blade though from regular Mega Altaria, resisted by the Steel Typing of Shiny Lucario, not doing a lot of damage there, but it was a critical hit in its defense, so it did about as much damage as it was ever possibly going to do. And here is Shiny Mega Lucario. Going through with a Fire Lash, that is not going to be that effective on a Dragon type, but it's still a bit of damage, much needed damage, and it drops the defense of that Altaria, making it that little bit easier to take down. The Lucario team seem to be in a pretty good position right now, as they go for the Venushock, which will be super effective. It's a shame that there wasn't a status condition on that Altaria, or it may well have been completely knocked out. 
we see the shiny Mega Altaria waking up, getting ready for action, feeling refreshed, going for Wrap. That is going to deal not very effective damage, but it's going to deal damage at the end of each turn. And that is detrimental to the Lucario's chances of victory. So it was a very smart play by the Altaria to get that consistent damage each turn. There's an Iron Defense. Doesn't care about that defense drop from earlier because now Me uh, Mega regular Mega Altaria is going to raise its defense by two stages. Bring it back to a little bit more of a comfortable stage there. And there's that Wrap damage from uh, the shiny Mega Altaria onto the regular Lucario there. Here's the regular, sorry, the shiny Lucario going for Substitute. It's gonna hide behind the Substitute. Risky play, sacrificing HP for the Substitute, but it has worked out in the past for other players and other Pokemon in general across the board. Here is Screech. That is going to lower that Iron Defense right back down by two stages. So completely cancelling out the Iron Defense of the regular Mega Altaria. It can't be happy about that. What's it going to go for in response? It's going to Milk Drink and restore its HP back up to full. It says, you want to reduce my defense? I'm just going to put myself back up to HP. Will it be back to full? No, it's 50% of its max HP. And it was just that little bit below half when it used the Milk Drink. So not quite full HP there. Here's a heal block though, blocking the Lucario team from healing. That's an important play there by shiny mega altaria and there's more wrap damage on that lucario who probably really would appreciate being able to heal right now so i think heal block was a great play by the altaria team especially when they're the team that's in the lead right now they don't have to worry too much if they lose this battle they've got another chance whereas here's a sacred fire from the shiny mega lucario not very effective damage, but still a decent amount of damage for a not very effective hit. And he jumps right back behind that substitute there. Here comes his partner Pokemon. Yeah, Altaria doesn't have to worry. Lucario has to win this battle. It's in a much must-win situation. Goes for a stab vacuum wave, but of course it's not very effective on the fairy type Altaria. And here comes Shiny Mega Altaria. What's he going to go for? Going to go for Air Slash. It's not going to be very effective. I don't think it's enough to break that substitute, but we might be surprised. There's Substitute taking damage. It does fade the substitute, which is not good. That leaves Shiny Mega Lucario as a sitting duck on the battlefield now at half its HP by its own doing. Here's a power-up punch that will be super effective on the regular Lucario, but of course... Um, Altaria not the best with its attack stat, but does get a raise in its attack stat there. And there's more wrap damage for regular Lucario there, bringing it even closer to that danger, danger red zone. We're going to see what the Lucario have in mind here. They need to pull out the big guns right now if they, want to, if they want a chance of winning this battle. They're just battling to equalize right now. They really need to get out of the gate. Uh, the special defense and defense stats of everything has been uh, swapped around. What will shiny Mega Lucario do here? Going to go for Magical Leaf. Again, not very effective on the Altaria. Really needs to look for something... Something super effective. That's what they need. They need to go on the proper offensive right now. Magnetic Flux is going to fail from Altaria there, but its shiny counterpart is getting ready to attack. And it's going to go for a flamethrower, which will be super effective. That's going to do massive damage to that shiny Mega Lucario. Takes it right down. You've got to think that Altaria is closing in on a victory right now, surely. There is absolutely the wrap damage bringing that um, regular Mega Lucario into the red. It needs a miracle right now. The wrap will kill it on the next turn if it doesn't heal or eliminate its opponents on this turn. What is going to happen? It's going to go for Gunk Shot. That will be super effective on one of these Altaria and could potentially take them down. It takes down the shiny Mega Altaria, but it's not going to live through this turn. This battle, we can already say, is going to Altaria. I am so confident the wrap damage will kill this Lucario. It doesn't matter because Fire Pledge is super effective. Down goes Lucario. 2-0 to Mega Altaria. Mega Altaria will meet Mega Metagross in the semi-finals of Metromania Season 3 with just an absolute fantastic victory over Lucario there. I really did expect better of Lucario in this battle. I get that Altaria has a bit more defensive bolt behind it and Lucario is a little bit of a glass cannon at times, but I genuinely expected more. I mean, Lucario has more resistances. I figured it would do a little bit better, but it just couldn't seem to cut it against Altaria. Although I do think now that Altaria is going through to the semi-finals to face Metagross, I think Metagross has got a perfect opponent there. And I think maybe, just maybe, Altaria might be able to give Metagross a run for its money on the road to the final. But before that, we've got semi-final one, which sees fan favorite Agron, or not so much fan favorite, but certainly the favorite to win. A lot of people I've seen in the comments have been going, Agron's got this, Agron's got this. And it's going to be against Salamence, which in its own right has been very, very dominant going through this tournament. But of course, that's where I'm going to leave this episode. 
But of course, that's where I'm going to leave this episode of Metromania. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. And if you're new, hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to support the channel like these lovely people down here do, you can pledge to my Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Ace Until next time, I'm Ace Trinilliam. Keep on training.